what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys shout out to my boy ck my boy irie oh my gosh dude this guy right here loyal ass subscriber crushing it in the digital marketing space crushing it in the music and production space um this dude right here is my boy and had a great question so i wanted to kind of just add some value to you guys um educate some of you guys that, that 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 are also probably thinking of the same thing on on when it comes to freelancing or, or or just doing digital marketing services or social media marketing services for other businesses i'll kind of just answer the question and kind of give you my two cents on based on experience and 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 how i kind of did it and how i how i still continue to do it building an agency since 2016 so if you're new to the channel subscribe my name is david i'm out here in san diego been building an agency since 2016 um, gotten hundreds and hundreds of clients all through the direct message alone and and continue to just crush it when it comes to social media marketing and facebook advertising for businesses and even you know for my for small businesses and even for my for myself right so if you're into that stuff man subscribe but I love when 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 my boys or, or or gals or just my my loyal subscribers over here ask questions. It's all about you guys, man. I'm just trying to bring value, whether it's social media marketing, Facebook advertising, landing pages, online marketing, online automation. That's what this channel is all about. So when you guys ask questions, that's what it's all about, man. Is is me just kind of again giving you my two cents and and trying to trying to bring value to to what you guys are looking for. So shout out to my boy CK for asking this question um, three days ago. Hope all is well. Quick question: When setting up a Facebook ad for real estate agents, do you have them pay for the ad themselves, or do you include a campaign budget in the cost um, of your service? Okay, cool, man. So again, you guys, it's all about your questions. Ask questions, comment below. Let me know what you guys are up to. Let me know how I can bring value to, to, to how you're building your business online. Um, this right here again, man, is my two cents, my experience on, on what I've been doing for the past few years. Um, when it when it comes down to to my model and my 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 sales process, what I've always done and what I still continue to do is is one product and one one service within my within my model right is simply running one Facebook ad for that client. This is how I onboard. This is how I've onboarded hundreds of social media clients, man. Um, and again, I've gotten ninety nine point nine 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 percent of all my clients through the direct message, right? Through DMing on Facebook alone, right? I haven't even had to run Facebook ads to find clients. I run Facebook ads for other clients, right? I run Facebook ads for clients, um, but to have to run ads for myself to find new clients, I haven't even had to do that, man, because I got so damn good at the direct message and I, and I have appointments every damn day from it. I can't even keep up from just the direct message, right? Um, so, so again, this is based on, based on, 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 on real, real experience on what I, what I've done. I would onboard a client and I would start them off small. I would start them off where I'm just running one single ad, one ad for them. And, 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 and nine out of 10 times, it would be the like ad. I would run a like ad. And that's what I advise everyone to do. When you start running Facebook ads and you come on a Facebook and, and, and want to really scale your business through actual advertising, and you want to do that for the first time and you're running, you know, your first few ads, right? I always, always consult on, I always recommend, I always coach and train on, the first ad needs to be the like ad, right? When you when, when you look at your business page, your likes, your followers, whatever you want to call it, the, that like count, that need that like count needs to be the, the, through the roof, right? Depending on what type of business you're building, if you're in real estate, you're an agent, right? A few thousand likes is all you kind of need. If you're in digital marketing, online entrepreneurship, maybe, maybe um um, 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 personal development or, or weight loss, or you're a coach, you're, you're some type of, 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 of freelancer, whatever, whatever it may be, you for sure want a few, a, a few more thousand. Like if you go to my Facebook business page, like, look, like I, I'm not playing, like this is, this is the first impression. And, and, and again, depending on what business you're in, um, this is, this is the most important impression, right? When someone comes to your business page for the first time, let me come as a visitor. Um, when you come, when you come to a person's business page, or when someone comes to your business page for the first time, and they see ten thousand likes, that instant credibility, that instant freaking perception of your brand, 
is freaking important. I always tell tell my clients and and just you know friends, my YouTube fam over here, that needs to be the first ad, right? The like ad, the like ad. So so when I'm onboarding clients, man, and and my main main service for them is to run Facebook ads, to run Instagram ads. That's the main service, right? All this other social media management posting for them. I don't do none of that shit for no one no more, like at all at all. I stopped that the first probably the second month I was in business, right? I was like, no, because I learned from a coach where it's like, no, dude, you want to focus in on one thing that you're going to service that client with. And that one thing should be paid advertisement. That one thing needs to be Facebook ads. That one thing needs to be Instagram ads, or that one thing that you're doing for a business is you're running their YouTube ads, right? It, 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 ha- again, you could provide so many different services. You can put a spin and a red bow on so many different kind of packages within your business, right? But, but your bread and butter should be should be should be paid advertising. If you're in the digital marketing space, if you're in the online marketing space, you're you're looking for clients, you're freelancing, you're doing this for other businesses. That's what it should be. It's not social media management. It's not posting for them. None of that shit. You want to be running paid ads to a page that can capture a lead for that business. Okay. Bottom line, none of this other posting shit is going to do it, do it for them. So 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 that's what it should be first and foremost. So with that being said, that's what I would do. I'd run Facebook ads for 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 clients for real estate agents for small business owners right and that's the first ad so here's how i did it man is i would call that the first ad this is how i'm onboarding them this is how i'm getting their credit card for the very first time this is what i've done and this is what i I still continue to do that's the first ad i literally literally spin my pitch i spin the conversation as if as if as if as if all i really need out of you right now is a good review. And that's how, this is a new page that I started not too long ago, maybe about a year ago when I finally, you know, really took this brand name, you know, to the next level. And then I started putting all the reviews over here, but I had over, over, over a couple hundred on my previous page back back that I started when I started back in 2016, but, but this is a newer page. So now I'm bringing newer, newer, you know, ones over here, but that's what I would do is I would say, Hey man, I will run this ad for you. I'll take your 200 likes to 2,200. All you need to do is pay for it and give me a good review. And that's how I would onboard clients. That's how I'd get someone's credit card number. And then that's how I would build in a a, a small profit for me in that first transaction. That's where it would start. That's where it would start. That's where it still does start to this day. Clients that I do bring on, some of them, I'll start just there. I'm like, dude, let me just run a like ad. I noticed on your business page, you have 310 likes. Let me tell you why they're all a waste of a like. And let me tell you why we need to run a Facebook ad because when people come to your page and they see that number for the first time, that first impression goes a long way. So it's worth the first hundred bucks. It's worth the first 200 bucks to put towards that ad, right? And I'll run it for them for, for, for a 30 day period, right? And, 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 and skyrocket that like number and blow their freaking brain. They're like, holy shit, David, I just had a, you know, freaking 90 likes yesterday. And now all of a sudden today I'm at 900. Holy shit. What did you do? This is amazing, right? That's how I end up making people fall in love with me right away. Like right away. It's that like number. They all, everyone, man, you, your freaking mama, everyone, everyone has a couple hundred likes. I sold people. I've sold clients. I've sold the idea and the reality that, and the fact that that number is important. So let's put your first dollar there. Let me run it for you because you, you don't know how to run it yourself. Let me run it for you and just give me a good review. And then boom, once I would do that, man, I would take their credit card. I would have a, 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 a small profit inside of that. There'd be a margin there for me, right? To eat, to feed my family, to maybe pay my little bills. That's the upfront onboarding client money right away, quick, weekly, doing that daily type of shit, right? Um, bringing on new clients, bringing on new clients and just, and not burning myself out, just, just managing it in a way where that money goes here, right? This that money goes, you know, and pays for that. Like I would keep it that simple. Where I knew, obviously, you know, that's that's opening up a whole nother can of worms, and and now talking accounting and where my money goes. I'm not trying to, you know, go all there, but it's at the same time, it was money that I would look at that pay my rent, right? So my rent money is this upfront money that I get for from clients when I simply onboard them and 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 run this one ad. Because of this margin, because I know I can bring on that many clients per week, 
that's enough to pay for my rent. And I would literally look at it that way, just one stream of income that, that, that took care of something, right? Because my whole goal was to, was to, was to build that relationship, was to win that, win that customer over right away by doing something simple, and most importantly, getting them to like me and trust me with that credit card. So I was able to take that credit card. Everything I've done is a one call close. It's one call. I don't get on multiple calls with people at all, like at all at all. A new client, a prospect, it, all I need is freaking one, t- one call. One call and I'm grabbing your credit card because it's really that stupid because it's this simple that's what i would do i would run one freaking ad for them one ad but but on the back end i'm getting a review on the back end i'm getting that credit card on the back end i'm getting them to trust me on the back end i'm starting to build this relationship and now i'm about to bring some value because once i take their freaking 300 likes to 3000 and 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 it took them freaking damn near 3 years to get 300 and now we're at 3000 in freaking 13 days they're like holy shit david you're freaking amazing and that's what that's what it's been man um that's what it's been and so my whole value ladder would be okay let me run that one ad. Once we get that like count up, then we'll start talking about more advertising, right? Then, because I would have a process, I would have my process. I have a process, right? Um, and I don't teach everything to everyone right away. I have a value ladder. I have different pricing, right? It's, it's a freaking package. It's an overall freaking my menu, right? But I'm just letting you know how I onboard them in the beginning. So answering this question, when setting up a new Facebook ad for a client, do you have them pay for the ad themselves or do you include a campaign budget in the cost for your services? Or do you include a campaign budget in the cost? Okay, so again, first ad, this is just how I've done it, how I've done it for hundreds of people, bro, hundreds of clients that I've gotten, hundreds, man, hundreds. I have video videos documenting all this shit, right? Um, but I would start them off that way because my whole process, my whole value ladder was to get them on a coaching program later on. And later on would have been within the next 20 days. So I would run this ad, get their credit card, put in a, a small a small budget, a small fee within the budget, right? I, I'd, I'd make a small, like a, I just make like a small margin inside of that ad. They're paying for the ad. They're spending anywhere from, Anywhere from from 150 to 500 bucks, like upfront right now, right? And and majority of that is going to that ad. But I but I also on the back end, I have my ad numbers down as well, so I know how many likes, for example, I know how many leads or whatever you want to you know um, 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 create your business model around. But in this case, it's the likes. I already know how many likes I can get for X amount. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting a small margin in there, knowing that, that I'm going to achieve the goal for them and they're going to be fired up. And I'm going to be able to feed my family with this little income because this is one little service within my menu. Right. And this is how I onboard. This is how I onboard. This is the very first value ladder. This is how we start people small and then get them on bigger packages in the, in the, in the future. And that's just how I've done it. Everyone has a different model, but that's just how I've done it. One man show from my freaking home office. Um, and, 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 and crushing hundreds of clients. Now in the position 2021 to scale my knowledge and take all of my coaching services and package it all up, put it in a freaking red bow and sell it digitally, right? My digital course, that's where I'm at now. So 2021 is all about creating and finalizing my actual course, my coaching program and scaling that to the moon because this, this whole done for you service, I've done this since 2016 and shit. Although I've gotten hundreds of clients, this shit is time consuming. This shit is freaking energy draining. It's like, holy crap, dude, I'm freaking beat by the end of the day talking to calls talking on with on calls with clients back to back to back all damn day right this is what we do it's the grind so documenting digital di- digitally producing my knowledge that's where you want to be that's where that's long term goal right that's where that's where I'm at now um, but it's taken me a few years to get here right so after i onboard them i simply upsell them in a few in a, in a few weeks so i'll end up I hate the word upselling, but I, 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 I just, it's just more value. It's more value now because of my process, because of my value ladder, because of my sales process, I do have a higher paying program, which is my next coaching program, which is where I start teaching them Facebook ads. Now, again, that's all done for you. That's how I've been operating this entire time. Again, where I'm at now is I'm now taking all of my coaching experience, what I've been doing with clients and now packaging that up. That's my digital course, right? That's where we're at now, 2021. 
but 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 since 2016 this is just how i've done it where it's like i'll get them on with one simple ad and that was the like ad i would i would i would i would build that relationship and then in a few weeks i would get them back on another call to talk about my next service like what we need to do next and i paint the picture where it's a step it's a process right so i'm saying hey this is step one we're going to knock out the like ad step two is when we start running ads to your local area to capture leads step three is when we start driving the traffic to a landing page step four is when we automate the emails that start to go out that get us appointments or make us more sales right so i i paint this entire five-step blueprint is what it's called um that i coach and teach clients um and and so they already, they're already visualizing my process so they're already ready for the next call i'm already painting the picture on the first call about the second call right i'm already getting them fired up to talk about that call you know sooner than later i'm like saying hey man this is what's going to happen now. I'm going to, I'm going to run this one ad. I'm going to freaking blow this shit up for you. And then let's talk in a couple of weeks, check for my emails. Once you get a few emails, schedule a call. And on that, you know, when it comes to my, my, my emails, I send it all through Kartra, my landing pages all through Kartra in that email. There's, there, there's a, there's a link to the calendar where they're scheduling the next call appointment. That's all done through Kartra. So if you're new to online marketing or, or, or landing pages or sales funnels, there's a 14 day trial in the description. That's the software I've been on since 2018. It runs my entire online business, profitwithkartra.online. Um, that link is in the description. Um, I hold coaching calls, live Q and A Zoom coaching calls every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific. So if you're if you activate a 14 day trial, I'll get I'll get a notification. You'll get an email from me inviting you to that private coaching that I hold live every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. So activate a 14 day trial. The link is, is in the description. But back to this, man. Hopefully that makes sense so far where I'm onboarding them for something small. I'm running one ad. I'm getting a review. I'm making a small profit margin out of it. And I'm starting them small. In a couple of weeks, they'll get some emails. I'm teaching them and bringing more value via email automation. And that's what's getting them to schedule the call. They schedule the next call. That's my next service, my higher tier paid service, which this entire time has been a coaching program for Facebook advertising, right? Um, and so, and so that's kind of how it would, how, how I would do it. And when, when they schedule that next call, I end up bringing them on as a, as a higher paying client. And that's just, that's just how I did, how I, how I do it and how I've continued to do it, how I've done it and how I continue to do it. So um, that kind of answers the question, man, that kind of answers your question. So that's how I do it when setting up the ad. Um, and then, and then, and then again, on that one-time ad is when I, is when I include a small, a small profit. Now I don't even tell them it's, it's, it's a small profit margin for me. I don't even say that. I just say, Hey man, what's your budget? Five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. Okay, cool. We're going to run it for 30 days. And then, and then again, you, you, as the business owner, you want to know your numbers. You have to know your numbers for every dollar amount spent, how many leads are going to come in for every do dollar amount spent, how many likes are going to come in. So that's what you end up kind of pitching them on. So I, I kind of pitch them on a like number, not necessarily just just a budget. I say, what's our like count? Or first of all, I do say, what's your budget? And then I'll tell, I'll say, Hey, you know, Facebook runs on a $5 or $10, you know, daily budget, you know, what, what, what fits your budget. And so normally whatever that may be, it doesn't even matter. You should know your numbers on how many likes can come from that. And that's what I know. So I know those numbers, um, which allows me to, to, to accomplish the goal, make them super happy, get a, get, get the client super fired up. And again, on the back end, I make a little bit, but really my, 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 my long-term objective. And I even tell the client, I say, Hey man, I'm going to do all this. I'm going to take my knowledge. I'm going to run this ad for you. All I need to do is request access to your business page. And that's what I do just the business page, not, not their ad account. I don't request access to their ad account. I request access to their business page because this is the only ad I'm going to run for them is the like ad. Once I win them over and once I get them fired up and once I get them scheduling the next call and then I up, upgrade them and, and, and get them as a coaching client, right? That's where I charge them several thousand. And, and now, now, now they're a coaching client. That's when I start teaching them how to run ads for themselves out of their ad account. So I'm only requesting access to the business page um and if you need help doing that there's a there's a video in the description in fact if you stay to the end of this one you'll see that video pop up that's how to request access to a business page but um but that that's that's how i do it man and then and then and then yeah i i i, I just say hey all i all i need out of you is a good review 
a good review. That's what you guys want to be doing, man, is, is increasing the reviews on your Facebook business page. Okay. Super, super important. Get as many reviews as you can, you know? Um, um, so I tell them that I say, Hey man, it's, it's for a good review, which it is. And then, and then I tell them the importance of preparing for our next call. I want to, I want to teach you more. I want to give you more. I want to provide more value. So when you get that email in a couple of weeks, schedule a call. Right. And I just have it on a, on a simple drip, you know, email sequence, automated email through Kartra. So, um, 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 so, so that's where I end up upselling them and making that bigger profit. Right. So that's kind of how I do it, man. So hopefully that made sense. Irie, great to hear from you, bro. If you guys are new again, man, if you're into this stuff, let me know what you got going on. If you're a freelancer, if you're running ads for, for, for businesses and, and trying to, you know, think of different ways, subscribe, stay tuned. Cause I drop daily videos on all this stuff. All I'm doing is documenting what I'm already doing. Like this is day in the life type of shit, right? Like I'm, this is stuff I'm doing, right? I'm either doing it for my business or I'm doing it for a client's business. It's just day in the life. That's the type of content I try to bring you guys. So if you're into that stuff, man, um, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.